Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and welcome back to Kirby's Epic Decorator vs. the Solo Edition. Ha. Huh. Well, I'm, I'm taking a quick break from Spaceland, just because, well, we've, we've got the space TV, so we can just plump that down there and make a new friend right out of the gate. Who could it be? Who could it- will it be Mr. Woolman himself? Clo clearly not. Clobby. It's so- oh, it's- it's- I- that looks like someone I don't remember who, like Mimi from Super Paper Mario, but with different colours? I don't know, what even are your levels? Oh, it's a race. Let me sit on that for a while. So, uh, anyway, back to Spaceland. Marathon! That's the pun. Okay, I get it. Well, those are missions that we will deal with at some point, but for now, I promised a mysterious UFO, so a mysterious UFO we shall have, and is one of the treasures just... Dr. Pepper. Well, let, let, let's do a play then. You know, press a like because I am cool as a cube, stealing all of the other people's memes without any remorse. It, I'd like to think that it just shows that I'm aware of the market medium that I... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, it makes things... Oh. <laughs> I'm doing excellent commentary. What, what have you been talking about? I, I, I'm trying to be medium aware in a, a facetious and ironic way. So everything is low gravity. But the fact that it's a red button thing that's beeping suggests to me that it's a temporary thing, which is slightly worrying. Now, I I will freely admit and augment and voluer that I did say in a recent episode of um I I appreciate the humor there of uh, of Spyro, which at this point I'm doing a fair bit of batch recording just for the sake of efficiency, so. Oh, we don't fall fast enough to do the thing anymore. Oh, that's that's devioso, because that's a word. But yeah, it's sort of hard to keep track of what I said when, but um, in a recent episode of Spyro, I did... Uh, well, what, what did I do? Uh, really? Really? You missed the one I was aiming for. Congratulations, UFO. That I am, at heart, of the futurist aesthetic. But having said that, I am, like, you would have thought that I'd feel really at home in these levels. But, and it, it is a it's a butt of considerable girth, um, you, I don't like space levels. Like, I like futuristic levels, but like, the idea that the, the future is sci-fi and all sci-fi is space, like, that I'm not a big fan of, personally. Hmm, oh, there's a platform. I was gonna say, did you want me to do something special with the gravity? to just float over the pit of despair. There is a a beam of some kind here. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of space. Just as a, like, a level aesthetic. Because, I mean, sure, cool stuff can be done with it, but I don't really like the idea of, oh, yes, all sci-fi is space, and, you know, space has these, these sweeping orchestral soundtracks. Like, no, I, I don't like that as an idea. Like, I do like it when games can do unexpected items in the bagging area with space but they seldom do. So, you know, something where it's like, oh, it's like a, an acoustic Spanish guitar in space. You know, th that I'd, I'd be more of a fan of because it's at least a bit different. But I don't know, maybe that's just me being unnecessarily picky. Because, I mean, it is nice to have, you know, futurist representation and such like, but... I, I, I'm just a little bit fussy, okay? <laughs> Never cook for me. You will be disappointed in how little I eat. And yet, and yet, I don't believe people when they tell me I'm skinny. Well, this took a turn. Can I up? Do you want me to up? Can can I be up? Can I use the power of Manfred Fro von Vertical Boost to go vertically? Too late, I already did. I bet these are on a time limit, aren't they? They're gonna start flashing and going away because there's no way I can collect them at, a, at very fast high speeds. High speed beads. No one but me would find that funny. And th th if they are a timer, it's a very generous timer. Because I guess I, c I could fall a bit more quickly by pounding, but I can't pound. Can't door. That's old by now. It wasn't even meant to be a meme to begin with, and ooh, a rotation? Rotate me, please. And now the patches are world. The patches are world. That is all. Oh, no, it's a timed. No, don't do that. <laughs> Don't touch my button this way, sir. I objection. 
And then if I... this way, then there's a beam friend who I completely missed. Well, where did the scrundle go? Oh, we could tear open a window. That seems like a wise thing to do in space. Yay, Dr. Pepper! I, I appreciate the humor once again. This game does have good humor, and it must be appreciated. Please do so. Please take this moment to enjoy the art. That was like a really terrible rendition of that Kevin MacLeod, like, lift music. I tried. I tried to entertain. Like, um, olive oil in mashed potatoes. And then we whoosh back over here. Well, that's, that was useful. But where is the destination? Well, further to the right, I assume. Not to be confused with a song entitled The Destination, which was in Estonia's Eurovision National Final several years ago. I don't remember how many years, I just know that it happened once because it was a thing that happened once. I don't know, I, I didn't much care for the song, but I appreciate what they were trying to do, because it's not the destination, sometimes it's just something on the way. Like, space. Now that said, I do like this level more than I liked the uh, Future City, because... I mean, theoretically, I, I should love a level with that sort of name because that implies, yeah, future and technology and sci-fi, but no, because it's all spacey and shit, like, not my style, really. Oh, are we gonna have to do, like, a, a Kaizo Clone War jump sequence? We are. I fucked it up. I didn't fuck it up. I didn't hold down the button, but actually, like I did. Well, whatever. I like what happened to be done there. What had to be happened to be done. We got all the things. We did a good. This level went well, and I like its gimmick. This is a very well done space sci-fi level. Congruent Alliance, although of the ones experienced thus far, I must say that I uh, I am of the preferring of Tube Town overall, just because I prefer that aesthetic, but you know. End of thought. Uh what Oh ohm. ohms. That that they are a unit of measurement. So if I bring you down here and set you down on a surface, because this is suddenly very reminiscent of the Game Boy Advance Clone War games, because that, that had rotating rooms in it for some reason. Yay, gimmicks. So if I take you and then slap you there, we could get this. Yum! Oh, dearie Lulu. Oh, oh dear, Lulu. She won Eurovision for the UK once. Well done. No, no. Hold on, I don't want to this way. Rotate back around. Or ig ignore me whipping your ass, that's also a... <laughs> Is it possible to ignore someone whipping your ass? Answers on a postcard, please. I wouldn't know from personal experience, but perhaps you do. In which case, I am mostly ears. Only mostly, though. Well, if we can turn this off from up here, do we want it to be off? Am I supposed to want it to not be on? Because I would prefer it to be on, because then it's a bit more forgivable. By forgivable, I mean forgiving. Oh, we needed it anyway. Well, that's okay then. I did a good after all. Yeah. This was a good level. I, I didn't have very high hopes for a level called Mysterious UFO. By the way, are there people out there who sincerely pronounce it UFO? Because it's... or, or UFO. It's, it's, it's three letters. It's UFO. It's an initialism, not an acronym. Because for the uninitiated, an acronym is where you pronounce it like a word, and an initialism is where you list the letters. True story. I, I have studied English extensively. I also speak it natively, but, uh, I am highly qualified in speaking my native language. No, but really I am. Rambles. Delicious. Cook, serve, delicious. Oh good, we're gonna have another non-denominational Christmas level. In space. Space Christmas. Space toast. Space toast from nowhere. Oh wait, I think I know what this level is. I'm, I'm going to keep Sturm in case I'm wrong, and I don't want to be wrong, but... Oh, that's that, that, that's a very nice effect there, I appreciate this. But is this the level with the, the, the thing that goes shoosh upwards? Stellar way. You stellar way. <laughs> I don't know, that... that. I, I like what's going on over here as well, because we're going to unravel it at some point, but not after the boss battle look of it. See, this almost, just at a glance kind of looks like what the Star Road from Paper Mario could have been if they fleshed out into a full, like, chapter rather than it being the final thing. Because that's another aesthetic that I love, but, like, I don't... Like, I wouldn't lump it in with space, because it's more, like... Cosmic... Like, it's more astronomy slash astrology as opposed to... I, I, I would say cosmetology, that's actually skincare. Um, it's, it's more the aesthetic of space... stuff? 
rather than space itself. Like, I'm trying to explain it and I can't. Like, the, the, the idea of, like, the aesthetic of stars mixed with, like, zodiac and, like, um, that sort of stuff. Incidentally, according to the ancient Egyptian zodiac, I was born under the sign of Sekhmet, the goddess of war and vengeance. And my ancient Egyptian horoscope is surprisingly accurate. Hello, did I mention my name is Yasuhiro Hagakure? Hey, <laughs> Another friend. This planet has teeth. It's like that one boss from Ukulele. Spoilers. Don't want to spoil that. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know why, but it mattered a lot to me that I didn't spoil myself on what the levels of Ukulele were when I played that. And instantly the, uh, fuck what other people say, the, um, the update to that has made it substantially even more playable. That's made the space fall things be- ah. <laughs> that was entirely meaningless. I'd imagine it's probably temporary, though. I should probably make progress while this guy isn't trying to kill me. Ooh, a planet made of, like, 20% chocolate jazzles. You know, I think they're jazzies, but jazzles, you know. <laughs> you know how the jazzles can be. Like, the, the, those things in Candy Crush that destroy everything of a single colour, which to me will always be the shiny blue things, because uh, I grew up with Buster Move 2, specifically Buster Move 2, where it's one of those shoot the bubbles with a thing, and if you match them, then they go. I'm doing a terrible, terrible job explaining. It's one of those shoot and match games, and if you, if you have a sparkly blue ball, then... Whatever colour that comes in contact with, every single bead of that colour on the board will be removed. Is what I'm trying to gesticulate. Oh, I want to do the up there, because there's stuff. I see things. Which reminds me, incidentally. Ed Sheeran's song, I See Fire. There is no way of saying that without it sounding like Icy Fire. But despite that, it sounds like a really cool name for a song, and yet it's really boring. Oh no. Oh no, hold on. Well, where was the first one, then? No. Yeah, I was surprised to- and this is gonna be even less relevant by the time this episode goes up, but, um... I was surprised to learn that Shape of You was Ed Sheeran, because it sounds too fun to be Ed Sheeran based on my previous experiences of his music. Which, I mean, I'm sure he's a lovely chap, it's just I've only ever known him to do, like, whiny stuff, and boring stuff, and stuffy stuff, and- oh. I thought down and to the right was the correct way, clearly I had an egg a bacon and a mistake. You know, where you try to eat meat, but but you accidentally hit the table instead. Mistake. Ha ha. Well, can I have further up using these speedles? Because I, I saw a thing up there. Like, a thing that I can gripple, perhaps? How up? How make do be upwards, because I've been bamboozled by such things once already. Oh, it's a space planet. Gyroscopes. I mean, this isn't a gyroscope, I'm just saying that's another thing that I like the aesthetic of. Like, you know, um... Like in the final chapter of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, another Paper Mario reference. Where it's like, oh, there's like... Gyroscopes and circle things, and I, I don't know, I just, I just like that as an aesthetic, I, I just... It's fun. Oh, here's the, a friend. It's the music disc. Have I missed the first one already? Well, god damn it, courgettes. Oh, to, to quote my late paternal grandmother, oh, Basingstoke. Yeah, Basingstoke is a place, by the way, and she always used it as like a, as a, as a soft expletive, and I, I, I always knew it was supposed to be like a, a, a surrogate for bastard, but um, I know, I always found it charming. She's been dead for, like, a decade at this point, by the way, so, uh, not to be insensitive, but, you know, just honouring her memory by swearing, <laughs> as one does. Uh, this was a miscalculation. Oh, there was an inn right there. Well, not an inn, but, you know. <laughs> you know what it is. You already know who it is. No, I don't. This is SoundCloud, and you're an upcoming rapper. <laughs> okay, that might need some explaining. Like, you know how sometimes artists start songs with, Y'all already know who it is, and, like, no, no I don't. I've never heard of you. <laughs> so no, I don't already know who it is. I think I've explained the joke sufficiently now. <laughs> I keep thinking maybe I can swing and get this bead, but no, if it's outside my arc, it's going to always be outside my arc. That is how the physics of a circle works. Well, there's nothing else for me up there. Oh! 
accept the way forwards, perhaps? Space case. My friends call me Moon Unit. <laughs> uh, ooh. I thought this was all just bonuses and star stuff. Uh, oh, it, uh, ooh, 1944. <laughs> Jamala would react. Now I just need to get to the end and not be shot by space bits. As opposed to star bits. Now, one thing that bothers me about the star bits from Super Mario Galaxy. So they're based on the Japanese uh, treat thing, Konpeito. Which is spelled Konpeito. There we go. But in Portuguese, because it's based on Portuguese, that would be pronounced Konpeito, because EI in Portuguese is I. But in Japanese, it's A, or more accurately, E. So it's spelled Konpeito, should be pronounced Konpaito. This is the level with the thing, is ah, here we go, rocket. Rocket. So we 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 sort of have okay, slightly eight bitified enemies, but we have bullet hell. I'm okay with this. I'm not I'm not really a fan of, of bullet hell games. And, I would I would joke about there being oh there's a skill point if you if you can beat all of them without missing but I have already missed several and also this game doesn't do skill points but um you know and that's just a thought I'm going to leave hanging there oh good they take multiple hits well that's a good forewarning lasers laser! you can't laser my rocket this isn't Sonic Colors much as I already jested it being such you can't steal my thunder if I steal my thunder first. Yeah, steal your own thunder. Pop your own pants, in the words of your grammar sucks. Which, I don't know, maybe by the time I upload this video, that will be a series that has returned. Oh, how did I avoid damage there? And can we get a power-up? Jellyfish? What is it with space jellyfish just being a thing that are a concept that is done? It seems like a, a weirdly consistent thing. Like space toast, but they're jellyfish. You know. Well, no, you don't know. You don't even know. Come to think of it, I'm also surprised that they're, they're not hiding one of this level's collectibles behind- Oh no, sorry, you've got to do at least this well at the space shooty thing. Then again, knowing this game, one of the bonus levels of this world is probably going to be just an entire level that's just the rocket. And in order to succeed at it, in order to get the treasures, you're going to need to hit very specific enemies at very specific timing, or... I'm gonna need to get good, is basically the long and short of this. Did this level take the entire episode? I'm... I don't... Oh wait, no, there was a mysterious UFO. Like, I was like, wait, I only remember doing Stella away in this episode. <laughs> what, what have I missed? But no. Clearly, there is just the boss. Which, I'm, I'm calling it now, it's gonna be Meta Knight. I don't actually remember. Ooh, the, the switch patch. They didn't have that in mind when they made this game, I can guarantee that much here and now. And for once, I will save the boss for the next episode because I'm not going to have time to do a fighty foo in this, honestly. Who do you think I take me for? Oh, yes. That's a nice effect with the wool there going up and down. Clever. Is it Meta Knight? It is Meta Knight. I go to fight the Spanish guy. And them Spanish guys invaded my domicile. All they wanted was to try to choke my dog, but I'm feeling fine. I'm on bottle 99. I eat extra Cheerios, ho. Also, when we get the next bit of string, it will just make the world map completely circular. And that does mean that, that we can then go between Spaceland and Quilty Square just by going left from Quilty Square or right from Spaceland. Yes, the world is a planet. Well, since we're here, I haven't done this in a while, you can watch me shop for fabrics. Because... Lord knows, I, I don't do this on in my Danganronpa streams on stream, I do it off stream, but you can watch me buying fabrics till the cows come home, and there are a lot of cows out there. I, I jest, I'm not going to do the, this for the entire episode, I'm just showing one round of, of buying stuff. There will come a point where I'm going to need to come back and do this, but for now, this is just a proof of concept. But there's a kid, there's a kid, Pardon me. <laughs> I just think he's cute. Like, the only Kirby amiibo that I have is a King Dedede amiibo, ju just because it was really highly discounted, and I was just like, yeah, he's cute. I would like to have. And if we go back over this way, you see, that will lead to Spaceland once we beat Meta Knight. But that's all foreshadowing and such like, so 
I'll do one more round of furniture because you sold me a good, so I, I shall trust you to serve me more goods. Literally. But for now, I will say, as always, that I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and in the next episode, we'll fight Meta Knight and do other space things. See you then. It's gonna be fun, I'm sure. Thank <laughs> you.